You are an ex-con. You are a drunk. Do I need to remind you that I'm Dorian Lord? I did not know about your plan from the very beginning. And there are mitigating circumstances that would prevent my being prosecuted. Mm, you're good. No, I play, played a lot of poker and I've called a lot of bluffs. And that's what this is, by the way, a bluff. You don't believe a word you're saying. You know, during the time that I foolishly believed that we were friends, I think I got to know you pretty well. Then you know that I have real friends in very hard places. <laughs> of course, how can we not? You mention it every chance you get. But see, there is someone in a very high place that uh, I think is missing from your list. Someone that's um, yeah, definitely not a friend. Um, she happens to be the DA, actually, and I think yeah, she also happens to be notorious at uh, getting convictions on cases, well, just like this. Mm. So, do tell us, Dorian, what do you think Nora Hannon would think of our little recording here? Just... If you think you can blackmail me with going to Nora Hannon, <laughs> you're making a big mistake. No, I'm doing this because I love Vicky, and I love my son, Jared. And it's my fault that he got in this mess. And no, that's not no, true. No, no, and it's just a little late for him to get out. You know, coming from anyone else, this altruistic gesture of yours would be truly touching. But not from you. And as for you, I doubt the Buchanans are going to find it touching that you dupe them in order to steal money from them. You don't get it, do you, Dorian? I'm not stealing anything from them. You're right, then. If it's not about money, I do not get it. Or, 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 if it isn't the family treasure, then, then what is it that's so valuable that has made you to keep your relationship so secret? Well, that is none of your damn business. <clears throat> and you better just keep your damn mouth shut. And I wouldn't start thinking of ways to gain the upper hand. Because if you do anything to undermine my son and the truth does come out, no matter how it comes out, you will get burned. Hmm. Okay. I gotta tell you, fellas, I did not see this coming. Especially with the way Jared has always been so hostile towards you. But life is full of surprises. Hmm. Isn't oh, it? Dorian, um, one more thing. When is that article about me coming out in Cray's magazine? <laughs> what? It's just what she said. That she was surprised that we were able to do this together. I guess I was a little surprised too. And I'm glad we were. Very glad. Yes, of course. I'll come over right away. Do you see the color drain from her face when she heard that recording? Yeah. Well, you sure had the technical know-how to pull this off. And you also had the guts. What's up? What are you thinking? You know, it's just as bad as I wanted this. As much as I felt that initial high when I pulled it off. Yeah. I'm going. If I had to do it all over again. No, 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 no. Look, it's too late for regrets, Jerry. You can't spend your life looking back. Trust me. Yeah. And despite what Dorian said, I know how much you care about the Buchanans. And I also know that I'm part of the reason that you were driven to go to them. No, we both have a lot of stake here. I know how much you care about Vicky. You know. Well, let's just hope we can both keep our secrets. Good evening. Good evening. Take a seat, Dr. Lord.
of what a delight it is for me to be having a drink with one of Ace's old friends. Thank you for joining me. Well, people keep referring to me as Ace's old friend, but need I remind you, young lady, that I am still alive and kicking. You're only as old as you feel. Well, right? uh, I'm not sure where that puts me. Ask me after that drink. <laughs> <laughs> well, your sense of humor is alive and well, that's for sure. And I, I really am glad that you could join me because I'm meeting a friend of mine here for dinner later, and now I don't have to wait here by myself. Well, is that uh, anyone I know? Uh, no, just a, an old girlfriend. <laughs> There's that word again. <laughs> old. <laughs> Who is that fellow over there? That is our new police commissioner. Lee Ramsey. So, why don't you tell me everything that's been going on with you since we last saw each other? You said you had information on prominent citizens in Landview, information I might need to do my job. And just so there's no misunderstanding here, uh, if you try to take us down, Doyen, we're taking you with us. You must have heard me wrong. What I meant was that I know the most socially prominent people in Landview, and I would be very happy to introduce you to them. No, that's not what you meant at all. Well, I'm so sorry to disappoint you. I'm so sorry. It's been a really long day, and <laughs> I must be going. Dr. Lord, you and I have a lot more in common than you might think. That remains to be seen. 